Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to introduce the different storage options on AWS. So in general, I can divide storage into three options or into three families. The first family is called block storage. The second family is called object storage and the third family is called file storage so let's explore the options between the three to start with the block storage you can imagine the block storage as this is your ec2 instance and this is like the hard disk that is attached into your EC2 instance. And usually block storage, this is for the most demanding, high performing workloads and mission critical applications like SAP, like Oracle and like Microsoft. And here we have two types of services or two options of services that we can deploy. So the first service, it's called instance store. And the second service, it's called EBS, which stands for Elastic Block Store. So what's the difference between these two? For instant store, you can imagine it more of a cached storage. It's a non-persistent storage, which means if I have stored my data, every time I stop my instance or every time I reload my instance, all the data is going to be released. So you might think, what can be the use case for the instant store? Actually, instant store is offering the best performance when it comes to storage IOPS. So I can use instant store where I need cache data or where I have, for example, something like HPC or something like big data where I have a certain job and during this job, I need a very fast and performing storage. And once the job is done, I don't need the data anymore. And that's the perfect use case for instance store. But for example, where do I store my operating system? Where I can store data that I would like it to persist. And here comes the EBS or the elastic block store. So the EBS is like the hard disk attached to your EC2 instance. This is, for example, where you can store your operating system because the data inside the EBS is persistent. If I stopped my EC2 instance, if I reloaded my EC2 instance, the data remains. And that's the first type of storage, which we call it the block storage. Now, the second type of storage, it's called object storage. And the name of the service here, it's called S3. And S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. S3 is an object storage that offers the industry leading in scalability, data availability, and security. S3 can store and protect almost any type of data suitable for many use cases like websites, like data lakes, like backups, like cloud native applications, and like analytics. Also, S3 has something very unique, which is its durability, because S3 has 11 nines of durability. So theoretically speaking, if you have an object stored in S3, you might lose this object maybe once every 10 million years or something. S3 is also designed for archival, and this is using S3 Glacier or S3 Glacier Deep Archive. And this is where you have the kind of data where you would like to always keep a copy, maybe for compliance reasons, for example, in case after many years, you might need to go and get this copy of data. So also S3 offers a very cost effective archival service using Glacier or Glacier Deep Archive. And now for the third type, which is the file storage. And I believe definitely you have dealt with this one before. This is where you have your servers. 
across the network and they are sharing a certain volume through the network that we have. And the types of services that we have here from AWS, the first service, it's called EFS, which stands for Elastic File System. And EFS is a serverless, fully elastic file storage. EFS can create and configure shared file system quickly and simply for AWS compute services. But you need to understand that EFS is only for Linux servers because EFX is using NFS protocol. But if you have Windows servers, then the name of the service here, it's called FSX, and that's the one that you can use for your Windows servers because the underlying protocol is SIFS slash SMB. So quickly to recap on what we introduced, we introduced the three types of storage. Block storage, we introduced the two options of instant store and uh, EBS. For object storage, we introduced the very interesting S3. And for file storage, we introduced EFS. And again, that's for Linux and FSX, which is for Windows. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and leave us your comments if you'd like to see any different content on the Cloud Simplified channel. Also, if you don't want to miss any of the coming videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.